Welcome back. In the previous video, we covered the awesome power of linked notes and how linking your thinking can give you more calm, creativity, and fulfillment in all of your endeavors. It supercharges your custom idea verse. Wait, what? Oh, I'll get back to that. But first, in this video, we are going to learn how to do note making. That's right, I said note making not note taking and it's the making that makes all the difference and i'm so excited to share this with you because note making is where we generate the most value for ourselves internally and for every instance where we express ourselves to others and we can't help but do that on a daily basis but first what were we doing before linked notes well for most of our history we kept it all up here even after paper but then we had paper fast forward then we had microsoft word fast forward then we had evernote and that was a big moment because now we could create notes very fast and boy did we we clipped countless articles and drowned ourselves in a noisy ocean of other people's thoughts we didn't know any better but it's part of the reason we feel so much pain and anxiety trying to manage knowledge we never learned how but after a few decades we found a way Way to reliably turn the digital chaos into digital gold, to turn the highlights into insights. And the answer is the linked note. You just have to get comfortable doing it. As you naturally grow an interconnected universe of ideas, your ideaverse, you will start to feel how it supports and powers your very best thinking. And it works best when you do less note taking and more note making. So let's hop into it. Okay, so if note making is where things really come alive, how do we do it? What is it all about and how is it different than note making? Well, it often starts like this, bracket, bracket. You're in a note and it can be anywhere. Remember, you make this your own, play around, this is a sandbox. So let's just say I hit bracket, bracket, and this time note makers. Okay, I just made a link. Now I want to jump into that link. I'm going to click on it. And now I'm back in the note makers note. And again, note makers are people who spend their thinking time in an active, engaged way. That means if you add something in your digital idea verse, you free up your inner idea verse to stop worrying about it so you can start working on it. And the wild thing about notes is they're like us. They can change. They can grow, evolve, and mature. Let's see what I mean and why note making is so powerful right now. So I'm not going to go across to note takers. I'm actually going to go up on the process of note making, I'm going to hit up again. That takes me back to the light kit, but let's hit up one more time and go back home. Now, I promise you in a couple more videos, we'll cover the home note, but for now, I'm going to jump into this thing called the people map of content, MOC. So as I jump into this note, it's a sanitized version of my actual note in my living idea verse. This is just the light kit. It's just a little forest of notes in a sandbox for us to all to play with. But for now, I did leave some breadcrumbs. I left a section of a few people and I wanna jump into Carl Sagan one of my favorite people. And Carl Sagan has earned my highest praise out of basically anyone I know. And I wanna write a little bit more about Carl Sagan for whatever reason. I was talking about him recently, so I want to talk about why he's so special in my thinking. And so I want to write a little bit more. So let me paste something I just wrote to save us both time. When I think of Carl Sagan, I think of Mihai, Mihai, let's so, Mihai, Chick sent Mihai, what Carl Sagan did for my love of the cosmos, Mihai did for my love of flow. Both have enriched my life. And it just so happens that I can make Mihai into a link because I have a note on this person. If you don't know who he is, he's the person who coined the term flow, also known as optimal experience, that feeling of being in the zone. So for those familiar with the NOMA method, the note making method, you'll notice that in these 34 words, I've already gone through the big four prompts. And those are, that reminds me, it's similar because, it's different because, and it's important because. Those are the four major prompts of the NOMA method. So what we see here is, when I think of Carl Sagan, it reminds me of Mihai Csikszentmihalyi. Okay, so that reminds me, and Carl, is similar because of my love of something, but different because instead of the cosmos, it's about flow. And it's important because both have enriched my life. This is note making, my friends, and it's how we draw out us, our unique perspective out of billions and billions of humans. How many have made this connection? Maybe only one, maybe at most a handful, but here's the thing. The note maker can't help but reveal and draw out their unique perspective simply by putting themselves in the environment that can help bring it out. Note making isn't just organizing knowledge. It's a way for us to know ourselves. 
In case you were wondering, that's my best Carl Sagan impression. I am sure you can do better. And it goes even deeper though. If we allow our curiosity to lead us, because if I go up, check out this uplink. If I go up to the people map of content and scroll back down to this special section. So what I want you to notice real fast, let me open up Carl Sagan again. I gave this note on Carl a tag called people. Okay, very cool. And if I open up the Mihai note, you'll see a tag that's also called people. So guess what? In this people map of content, and remember, this is part of the light kit that you can freely download. In this note, there's a special view that I put together with all those 250 plus notes. If any of them have the people tag, they're going to show up right here. That's pretty cool, right? And in this case, I also have each person sorted by the year they were born. So, huh, no, really? Carl Sagan and Mihai Csikszentmihalyi were both born the same exact year? Hmm, that's interesting. And by the way, the hmm, that's interesting, that's the very first Noma method prompt, the note making method. You have to get comfortable recognizing when you say this to yourself, hmm, that's interesting because now you know it's time to start note making. And in this case, I recognize that both these two people on my Mount Rushmore of most favorite thinkers were born a little over five decades before me. So let's hit pause and recognize that my digital idea verse helped me generate an insight in my inner idea verse. And I was so excited about this insight that I made a new note called the five decade rule. The idea emerged organically from having enough things in a single spot tightly packed together. And we'll cover this in the next lesson on maps of content. But because I planted the seed in my idea verse on the five decade rule, it just sat there for months, but it was marinating in the background. Let me show you what I mean. That note, I created it. I allowed it to live as its own note. It just marinated in the background. It wasn't filled like this, but then I found myself randomly bringing it up in conversations. And then eventually I felt compelled enough to write about it. And that's what you're seeing here. And it was fun. It was me sense-making, but because my curiosity led the way and because of my idea verse, my digital idea verse setting me up for success, I generated insights. I had fun sense making and I couldn't help but create an output. And so if I twirl this down, I made a YouTube video out of it. But here's the thing, I didn't try to. I didn't think from the top down, I wanna make a YouTube video about some weird concept. It just came as a process of working with my holistic idea verse, the stuff happening in here, meshing with the stuff happening in here, meshing with my surroundings and the conversations that I had. And this, my friends, is only a single example of how your curiosity creates insights and how insights can naturally lead to valued expressions. And it's all supported by the power of your idea verse. Wait, what? What's an idea verse? Here is the official definition. An idea verse is the entire universe of ideas that exists between you and every place you think. Your idea verse consists of the connections between your brain, your body, and every part of the environment, especially your personal notes, but also that tree you just walked by the conversation you just had, and the jolt of butterflies you just felt in your stomach. That means your idea verse consists of all of the spaces in your life where you encounter and express ideas. But most often when someone says my idea verse, they are usually talking about their linked digital notes. And that's where we are going to spend the majority of our time together. But we have to remember that our idea verse is much larger than just our notes and every bit of it shapes our next idea, which leads me to the hidden law. Even when you realize how much your environment is shaping you, it's still shaping you more than you realize. This is why the future belongs to the note makers. Those among us who are able to set up an environment that encourages more note making and less note taking, we create a supercharged idea verse that supports and powers our thinking for a lifetime. If you're ready to replace all your wasted web clippings and chronic note-taking efforts with value-generating note-making, I encourage you to learn more about our online Linking Your Thinking workshop, where we train you to powerfully use linked notes and work your note-making muscles. By the end of the workshop, you will have your custom knowledge management system, a supercharged idea verse that you will have for the rest of your life. If you're interested, just click the workshop link in the description below and join the waitlist for the next one. Okay, back to it. In our next lesson, we're going to finally talk about maps of content, also known as MOCs. They are an unexpected consequence of technology that has provided us with a next level thinking tool. But for that, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay connected.